We try and solve another quick problem in FRA and this time it will be on a trial balance. Let's uh, prepare a trial balance based on these transactions which have been given to us. So we've been given a lot of transactions with headers as capital, purchases, sales, machinery, land building, furniture, overdraft, cash in hand, debtors, creditors, etc. We have to basically put classify these transactions into debit and credit, right? Just remember assets going up is debit so consequently we can work with liabilities going up is credit expenses are debit and sales or incomes are credit that's what we need to remember in terms of our uh, our formula right once we remember this then basically rest everything is straightforward we're going to kind of put all this on an excel file so here is the excel file that we have we have all the particulars available with us we just have to basically classify each of these as debit or credit so i'm going to kind of put the names and headers once again here and let's insert a small row in between so that we know there is a difference here you know differentiation in these two headers let's also put the font size as maybe 11 right let's put in so capital is a liability owner's equity that's going to be a credit entry purchases are you bought something basically and they end up in assets so that's debit sales is credit machinery is an asset land and building is an asset furniture is an asset all are debits remember assets are debit Bank overdraft is a liability, credit, cash in hand is an asset, debit, debtors are people who have not paid you money, that's an asset, debit, creditors are liabilities, credit, bills payable are liabilities, bills receivable are assets, depreciation is an expense, rent is an expense, salary is an expense remember all expenses will get debited wages electricity office expenses postage and stationery everything is an expense so everything gets debited right now the sum of all debits comes via this and the sum of all credits comes via this as soon as they match we know that broadly the debits and credits equal each other remember that does not necessarily tell that everything is correct but they will definitely match for them to be in the first position of having been posted correctly so all we need to remember in this entire discussion is assets debit liabilities credit expenses debit incomes credit that's all that we need to remember once we put all these headers in we will automatically arrive at a correct kind of a trial balance right so that's an example that we wanted to do short one on trial balance if you get any such problem just keep this rule card in your mind thank you